Okay, so there's a few more things we need to memorize in the front of the body uh, before we move on. And last time, you know, we went through everything I have drawn there. We went through the, these hips part, and um, you know, this I have her really thin, so the uh, you can see that curve like that. And sometimes you can see two in there, another another lump like you know we went over the last video. And there's you can actually even draw little. Um, curves right there if you wanted to just to hint at the um, I might have made that a little too low little hip bones sometimes and thin girls is visible so you can just call and draw little lines to hint at it okay so I have the belly button here just a quick overview remember that these muscles on the inside is shorter this side's longer we have the little uh, lines there the little lines that come off here so, um, you know, you might want to go through and watch the videos a lot of times and practice until you have these parts memorized. And then once we have the front of the body memorized, then we can move on to, like, the back side and whatnot. Um, let's see, I'm going to show a picture of a real girl here. I had to paint in a bikini because uh, she's nude, and I guess I can't put nude even though it's artwork on YouTube. So, um, you should have like adult rated videos or something, I don't know. Where you have to like use a credit card to sign in, you know, once, and then once you're verified, then you know, age verification, then you can view those videos or something. You have these two lines that come in here. It's hard to see, but there'll be a little line here, a crease that comes, it's from the lake, that comes like this. And like this, so it's not actually it's not actually the crotch; it's part of the leg. So this line kind of comes like this, and then comes in like that, and that's from the leg, the muscle. The crotch is here, and I can just you can just you know mark it by like a small little V, and it really just depends on you know what you're drawing. You know, probably not drawing a nude lady, so. You can just kind of hint at it if she's wearing clothes. And I'm going to make this dark because. Like that. So if she was wearing a bikini, you know, it, it would come up like that. You know, like this, whatever. Somewhere in there. Maybe a little higher actually up there. Anyway, it just depends. And uh, let's see here. I want to show. Uh, when you. And notice the, notice the collarbone. You can see you can usually always see these lumps here, so you can just you can just you know do it by drawing like that. Then you can sometimes see part of the the muscles. You can see or the muscle connects behind the collarbone and it comes up to the ear, and then you can see part of the collarbone and it disappears into the back of the shoulder. And remember you have this triangle there, okay. But it's important to know you have this angle here with the muscle. You see that how it kind of comes out and in. It's just slight. Not everyone has that. Depends on you know how much fat's in this area, um, but you can see that. So I'm gonna draw that, and that's what you, that's what you're seeing here. Then down here you have your your knees. So I'm gonna draw the knees first because you know we have to memorize the knees, and kind of think of the knees as uh, you know this kind of these kind of shapes, like so. And then on this part of the knee, you have this muscle that comes out like that. I'm having our legs really close together, so they're touching. And then you can just kind of, you know, like so. And you can exaggerate this more or less. You know, it just depends on the female you're drawing. Okay, so we're just adding all this little information to our memory bank. And you know, the more you do this, the more you draw the female figure from, you know, a, a front position. It doesn't have to be like a stiff front position. This is just easiest to memorize. Um, you know, you can have a more dynamic front position, but you still want to memorize the the shapes. So that's what we're trying to do right now. Is, to, you know, we can you can hint at a at a knee here. By uh, I like doing it like either just you know these two lines like that, those three lines, or just two. Just two lines, 
you know, just you can you can hint at these different ways. Now the other thing I want to memorize is this outer muscle is longer, it starts higher on the knee, and it's longer than this inner muscle, which starts shorter on the knee and comes down. Now it might look like I'm drawing back and forth or not. I'm only drawing on the downstroke. So you know, as I move it up, I'm not drawing. I'm only pressing down on the downstroke. And it's important whenever you're drawing, whether it's with pencil or or online, you should remember that. And remember that these muscles are like that, and um, you know the rest is pretty much bone. Also remember there's an angle to your your ankle bones. The inner ankle bone is higher. I'm gonna go ahead and draw it in there. And there's an angle than the outer ankle bone. And the outer ankle bone is usually not as visible from this front angle. And then draw the feet. Now remember the feet you kind of draw like this, like a V, because you have the you know your big toe. The middle toe is usually a little bit longer than your big toe. And you have your other toes that fit in there. So I'm going to draw the two ankles. Again, the calf muscle. Oops, that's a little too wide. The outer muscle is you know, come in like that. And notice I'm, I'm at 100% opacity, so if I just lightly touch my thing, and if I pick a bigger brush, it picks up a little bit more. But I'm just, you know, that's lightly touching it. And then if I push it a little bit harder, then I can push it really hard. I'll go back to the three, push it really hard. And I probably could, um, hold on, I'm going to change. Alright, so just wanted to adjust the pin pressure on my tablet so I don't have to press as hard to get full strength. Actually, I'm going to take the noise off too. Okay, so those are the uh, contour shapes that we need to memorize for the front of the body. And ta-da! And then we can move on to other angles of the body. Um, what happens is the more angles you, you memorize and you start drawing, your brain can then fill in by because it, it memorize you know it remembers what the different muscles you know and also you want you want, you want to learn muscles and I don't know if I really want to go through the muscle part. Um, there's actually a good video series I can recommend. Uh, what's it called? Something. Hold on. Anyway, so here's one of the videos from the. It's called The Structure of Man. And he goes into a lot of detail about all the muscles and bones and everything. So it's a. It's a. It's really worth getting. It's uh, you know for the price. It's really not that expensive. And it's huge. Just so much information. There's so many hours and hours of video. So anyway, it's called the structure of man. Okay, so we have uh, completed the the front. You know, we've we've learned all the the main things from the front that are important to learn. And I, you know, I'm just throwing those lines in so I can remember. You, you know, remember that's like a 3D form there. 3D form. You have the, from the knee, you have that muscle, you know, that comes in the front, the shin, that comes to the shin bone. Anyway, so yeah, I'm just making sure I, I covered everything because uh, that's going to be the end of this part. And and uh, next we're going to, I think, going to get into the, uh, the side view, the profile view. And that way we could um, you know, have the two major views and then uh, the backside will go through real quick because pretty much everything's the same on the backside, but there's certain certain things you want to know, you know, certain lines, certain shapes you want to memorize. And, and again, uh, then we can start going to different, you know, different uh, 3D shapes and stuff like that, like a, a side view, or not a side view, a, a twisted view. And there's certain things you want to memorize with that. Okay. All right, so uh, leave comments. Thanks.